marine environment is vital to our life on land and a major portion of how we exist as a global population. We are allowing for the ocean to be destroyed. I cannot understand. I, I, I've spent years trying to figure this out. Why certain issues do not catch almost anybody's attention or imagination. You know, we all love aquariums and we, we like to imagine, uh, you know, the, the, the beauty of Finding Nemo. Uh, but we still don't do anything to, to make that a reality uh, for the marine life that, that does exist. We've got a shark in here. We get one week a year, a shark week, where, where people really suddenly care about uh, sharks in the marine environment, um, but come the following Monday, they're on to something else, unfortunately. It's an incredible contrast between, you know, the death of a single white rhino, or the death of a single gorilla, or the death of a single lion, uh, versus the extinction of an entire fish population. We do not have a credible system to make sure that the health of the ocean is maintained. There is a, an increasingly blurry line between when the state ends and when the criminal begins. Organized crime groups are taking advantage of uh, the fishing sector to benefit themselves in a variety of different ways. Drug trafficking, human trafficking. China is one of the states that has spearheaded the notion of state protected illegal fishing. The state uses its own resources, its own assets, its own military and law enforcement infrastructure to protect its illegal fishing interests. All too often, those who understand the value of the maritime domain the best are the criminals that would do it harm. And the worldwide, there are hundreds of billions of dollars a year in the fishing sector. We need to look at the full spectrum of bad actors and who they're tied to. And China is not the only problem in this. If you ask uh, why it is that Spain exported three times as much fish as they legally caught, you aren't gonna get an answer. The oversight bodies that are supposed to be getting a handle on sustainability are a problem worldwide because they are playing it along with the industry they try to regulate. If you thought of the ocean as a giant game of Jenga, you have to ask how many times you can take away a piece before the whole thing collapses. And overfishing is constantly taking away pieces. Um, and so how, how long do we have before where it came over?